And good afternoon guys, Jerry again going to bushcraft and something a little bit different today instead of the regular camping videos uh, the other day I was browsing eBay I've been buying loads of kit lately, loads of new kit, too much kit probably but yeah, I came across uh, a uh, an army surplus mystery box or mystery package basically uh, for 11 99 delivered, it's 3 kilograms a random army surplus in grade A, B condition uh, the seller is uh, Springfield. I think they, they've got an actual army surplus store. I can't remember whereabouts, but yeah, but they must sell on eBay as well. So I thought, you know what? 12 pan, something, something different in it. I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to use a few items in there even. And if I can't, I can pass them on to someone that can. So yeah, let's give that a go. So where is the item in question, guys? I thought I'd come outside and film this uh, just to make mums at the minute, actually. But it's a beautiful autumn uh, afternoon, so I thought, why do it inside when I could do it outside? So yeah, that's the package. 11 99 delivered. Uh, quite a substantial package. Supposedly three kilograms in there, and I think there definitely is, probably a bit more. They also do another one, I noticed, for 25 quid. Uh, and that's supposedly another three kilogram of random surplus stuff, but that's in uh, unissued or grade A condition. This is obviously not quite as good, Nick, but now, by the way, I'm not in any way affiliated to the Springfields. I just came across this on eBay and thought it'd make a good video. So, yeah, right. Let's uh, move the camera around and we'll show you what's in it. Like I say, totally random. I've got no idea. Uh, take a look. I'll rip it open. That £12 uh, delivered. So I guess oh, it's, it's fairly heavy, so you could probably say three or four quid of that's postage. So this. Probably about eight quid's worth of actual kit in here, maybe. So let's see what we've got. We've got, I don't know what this is, because I've already got one. <laughs> it's a DPM a webbing yoke. If you watched my recent video where I went up to the bushcraft forest, I carried, I used one of these with a DPM rocket pouch on back. So yeah, well this, this is definitely unissued. This is, this is a really good nick. So yeah, always good to have a spare. So a DPM PLCE webbing yoke. Uh, obviously some kind of webbing. So it's like 58 pattern webbing this. You guys can tell it is, it's just loads of straps, buckles and things. Uh, some attachment points here, look. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure what part of the webbing that's from. Maybe some of you guys know from the from looking at it, but yeah. Oh wait, actually, here we go. Strap assembly carrying sleeping. And there's the NSN number. So some kind of sleep system carrying straps. Awesome. Definitely looks like 58 pound webbing though. Yeah, I might be able to use this possibly I've got a Polish, sorry, Czech army bedroll. So these straps may be cool coming in for carrying that, attaching that to a pack, possibly. Is that something else cool? Holy smokes, now these aren't, aren't quite as cool. <laughs> I think these are like some kind of, when well, it used to be an army kit actually, I think we've got issued these, like uh, the smart, the smart dress basically. Uh, those are some brown trousers. <laughs> I think the ones we have were dark green. So let's see if we can see the NSN number. So these are trousers, man's barrack dress. Army all ranks. That's gonna be in reverse, I suppose, isn't it? Because I've got the uh, the camera back to front, but yeah. NSN number is 84059998312521252. So yeah, barrack trousers. Uh, definitely won't be have any need for these whatsoever so that's so i've got two good things so far one not so good okay next thing more more straps these are they have an nsn number on but not just some kind of roll mat straps possibly one two three four complete with a little bit of random <laughs> brown glue so you know what I mean bonuses but yeah they're definitely 
they definitely roll my straps or something like that. So they'll definitely come in handy. These look like NBC trousers. They, yes, they might not be. I think they are though. The charcoal lines, yeah. So <laughs> NBC nuclear biological chemical warfare trousers. Uh, will they fit me? Yeah, possibly, <laughs> maybe. If not, I'll give one of my girls to use like as getting messed up trousers when we're out camping or something, they'll fit one of them if they're too small. <laughs> Just, yeah, I mean, pretty cool. So that's going in the cool pile. So that's four items in that pile, I think. Just the Barrett trousers that aren't good. Right, so what we've got here now. What is this? That is, looks like a respirator pouch. Uh, definitely is a, some kind of respirator pouch from some some army. It doesn't look British. Uh, there is actually no no identifying label on it, but yeah, that's, I would bet that's a respirator pouch, but that's pretty cool. I mean, I could even use some of them webbing straps to attach to this, make a nice little haversack. That's kind of cool. Some press studs there for the closing, but yeah. A little bit of closure straps on the side, yeah. Pretty cool, that goes in the keeper pile. Okay, this is a quite well-worn DPM shirt. Complete with I do apologise for things in reverse because I'm not sure how is it? I don't know. Royal Marines Commando. And I just saw another badge this side, yeah, there's the commando dagger, the badge. Obviously, I think the shirt's a bit too small anyway, but if I were gonna wear the shirt I'd have to take the badges off because I certainly have not earned the right to wear anything like that. But yeah, cool badges though. That's a DPM shirt. Let's have a look at the size of it. I can't actually find the label, but yeah, it looks... It may fit, actually, it may fit, but yeah. Put that in a keeper pile, definitely. I have no idea what this is. It looks like it's a boiler suit, but it's made a really thin... It's definitely a boiler suit, but it's made a really thin polyester. This is a medium coveralls safety industrial lint free so there's some kind of special uh, special overall wear over personal clothing will provide a lint free surface do not expose to intense heat material will melt launder by hand or machine with detergent solution 8415-009397881 is the nsn number yeah so if you ever need any lint free coverall they really are thin as well, I mean, like absolutely like almost paper thin. Not sure what I'd use them for, to be honest. So I think they're going to go in the... Uh... Mind you, I've said that, I mean, if you're fixing cars, I'm like, not very thick, but if you saves you're getting covered in oil, maybe. Uh, we'll put that in, no, we'll put that, I don't need them. Put that in the don't keep. And then what else we got left? We have got a... Body warmer. We used to call these uh, liner combat smock. So it's oh, it's a combat smock liner. Size one. I remember when I was a kid, years ago, I got issued something very similar to this. And, but the trousers version, they surely called it like a Chinese fighting suit or something. Something like that people used to call it. I don't know. But yeah. This is. NSN is 8405991321979. So yeah, it's like some kind of body warmer. I'll put that in a keeper pile, but it won't fit me, but it might fit one of my girls, possibly. Not that they're gonna want to wear any army clothes like, but if they're getting messed up in the mud and stuff like that when we're camping, it's like play clothes, aren't they? And that is it. So yeah, I think for 11 quid posted to your door, that's a fairly good deal, to be honest. It's definitely more than Sorry, 12 quid posted to your door. There's definitely more than 12 quid's worth of stuff there. Even if they're just like, I could definitely use the P90 
PLCE yoke, the the straps, all the different straps, definitely. Uh, the, have a, uh, the respirator haversack, possibly even the shirt once I've took them badges off. NBC trousers, maybe. That is it. So yeah, only crap things really. Uh, well, not crap. I just don't no, don't need myself. Some old-fashioned Barrett trousers, smart trousers, and a lint-free set of overalls. There you go, guys. Uh, like I said before, the other version they did one for twenty-five pound, but because I had that in my watch list as well, they actually offered it me at twenty pound the other day. Like eBay does like an offer now to like people that are watching items, so I could have had that twenty pound. I thought I don't want to risk buying that one until I've seen what's in this. Uh, so I might buy the other one, I might not, but yeah, they're on eBay if anyone wants to take a risk as well. I'm, obviously, I make no money, I'm not working for them, I just bought it because it looked cool. So, uh, yeah, 12 quid, pretty cool, something different, a bit of a surprise, right? Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll shortly have coming soon a mess kit video series where I'm going to start with the Swedish Army uh, Trangia mess kit and then going to work through all the different uh, mess kits from different countries I've got and canteens and canteen cups. I've got tons, so I thought during lockdown we can't go camping, so I might start this little little series. But yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. I've rambled on way too long now. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching, for liking, subscribing, all the good stuff. Really appreciate it. And as soon as we're out of this lockdown, the second lockdown, I'm going to get on the camp as soon as possible. Uh, I've got a camp down south planned for a, a secret location as well, That's something new. That'll be different and uh, really looking forward to that when we can get it planned in. Uh, enough rambling, see you later.